Hello there, we're going to set up the blend shapes and blend shapes preset manager on the low poly troll character here. This is the same process for any object that has blend shapes. The preset manager requires the blend shapes manager. So if I add the blend shapes preset manager, we're going to get both the blend shapes manager and the blend shapes preset manager. So let's expand those both out. The first thing we're going to do with the blend shapes manager is click this reload blend shape data. That'll allow the blend shapes to show up here in the blend shape list and if you can see them all here we have a bunch of body shapes some necklace shapes right here on the necklace object and we also have some shapes for the sword over there some shapes are going to have just a range from zero to one and that implies that they go only one direction so in this case the sword just gets skinnier in this case the sword handle or the sword size does something and the sword handle does something in other cases we're going to see that things like the chest size goes from negative 100 to 100, and that means it can go smaller and larger, smaller and larger, and anywhere in the middle there. But generally, that will affect the same thing in two different dimensions, opposite dimensions. Now, one other thing to note, depending on your Unity version, you might notice that things are a little bit too big, like perhaps you don't think that we ever intended the arms to get that small. And if you thought that, you're probably right. And that's because there's a bug in some Unity versions that seems to double the impact of blend shapes. And so we're going to set this to 0.5 as a global modifier. And now when we bring arm size down, it's more reasonable. And that's probably what we actually intended. So if you think that our extremes are just really unreasonably extreme, that's probably the issue. And just change this global modifier to 0.5. That's going to multiply all values by this global mod modifier to remove that the impact of that bug. So let's go ahead and look at the chest size here. And when we expand the object or the section out here, we still have the sliders where we can go back and forth. We can set the values with these buttons. We can randomize it between the minimum and maximum. And these are all something you can call via code as well if you dig into the Blend Shapes Manager script itself. We can also set a minimum and maximum range. So let's say that you're setting up your shapes and you decide that, you know what, I want it to be able to be a little bit smaller, but not that small. Select the size you want, click set minimum, and then select the size of the maximum you want, click set max. And now when we randomize between those two, it will stay between that minimum and maximum range. You can also control other sizes with this. So we can go to say perhaps the arm size and say control this. Now when we change the chest size, we're also affecting the arm size. However, the arm size is still going pretty small there. So we're gonna want to go to our arm size and Click the set minimum, set maximum to keep it more reasonable. Now when we control the arm size, those values are more reasonable as well. So this is one way to uh, make sure that shapes always match each other in case you want the chest to only get bigger when the arms get bigger or vice versa. Otherwise, you might have a situation where the arms get really or the chest gets really big and the arms get really small. And maybe that's not a look you want for your project. However, the Blend Shapes Preset Manager allows you to do a lot of this stuff uh, much more easily and also control things more specifically as well. So I'm going to click the bl Reload Blend Shapes list. Anytime we change data up here, whether it be the min max values or the set sizes or even just reloading the Blend Shape data, you're going to want to click this Reload Blend Shape data down here and then click the Add New Preset. I'm going to call this one Reset. This is the exact same setup we do for our demo scenes as well. I'm going to open this up and as you see now there's no shapes but we can add any of the shapes from this list here or I can click this add all button to add all of the shapes into the list. Now we can't see the results here unless we click the activate button and the butt size is behind them so there we go and we click the activate button uh, and you can see the, that these are set explicit. So this is going to be my reset I want all of these at zero and they're essentially like hey if I activate this make the character back to zero. I'm then going to click this copy button here and that's going to create a copy of the reset and we're going to call this random. Instead of explicit, I'm going to click this set all random button. Now they're all going to be randomized when we activate. So now every time we click that, we can go activate and we can go back to click uh, act, activate on the reset to reset those all to zero. Now you can also set things to explicit with removing specific shapes. So if I want to remove or only affect the sword then I can remove all of these shapes or I could create a new one and add only those shapes and now we can call this sword random and when we activate it only the sword will activate now if I remove the sword from this shape and the necklace as well might as well 
then when we activate that, it's only the body and armor that's activating. And here it's only the sword that's activating. So you're able to control just various parts of the character without affecting the rest. We can also create a new shape. We can call this maybe fat. And in the fat shape, we can add specific things like the butt size and the feet size and the leg size and various things that affect the fatness of the character. And then we can set those to be maybe their maximum values on all and then click the activate and see that. So now we've got a fat version as well. So now to call this, we just use it in our code. We can just call the activate button and it will activate just those shapes to those exact values. So the blend shapes preset manager is what you'll generally be using at runtime if you want to have more specific control over groups of shapes and the outcome you want, or if you just want to randomize as it's only one line of code to randomize all the shapes at once or to reset it to zero. Now we can see this in the demo scene. We have our blend shapes down here where we can randomize and we're using the slider option where it transitions to the shape rather than sets it immediately, which is a really cool effect to have, especially if you want to see your character grow or shrink in the game. And then we can click the reset button. And if we dig in to the canvas here, we can see that the button is simply calling blend shapes preset manager start transition to preset with the name reset and with the name random for the randomized buttons. And those are the same we have here on the blend shapes preset manager. If we look at the blend shapes preset manager script, we'll find the method here start transition to preset, which includes a preset name. So first the script will find that preset name. And if it doesn't find it, it's just going to return a log error because generally I think if you're going to be calling this, you expect it to be found. So we are going to log an error. Otherwise it's going to start transition to preset to that found preset. Similarly, if we activate a preset with an index or we activate a preset with a name, then we will also look for that name and then activate the preset accordingly. And this is going to do it instantly rather than over time. So if you want it to blend, then you start the transition to. And if you want it to be instant, just say activate preset. The transition time is controlled here. So you can change this to defaults to two seconds, but you can change it to whatever value you want if you want that transition to be faster or slower. So there we go. That is the blend shape preset manager and the blend shapes manager. If you have any questions, come on over to the discord and also check out the scripting docs on infinitypbr.com. Link is at the top of the website. Have a great day. Thanks.